We'll figure it out later. Hi, everybody. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I have attended uh, clown school today, and I'll be doing that for the rest of the week. One of the lessons uh, I received from one of the teachers there was that good performers, good clowns, good entertainers, good, good people of all types have, have kind of a bag that they keep all their tricks in. You know, it's a metaphoric idea, but you know, it may be literal, but you've got your juggling stuff, the songs you know, the spoken word pieces you have memorized, the dance moves you've got ready to go. That, that, that's great. And then people have that. And then there's, there's some people who, who are different kinds of performers. They have character. They have, you know, the, their personality. I, I like to think I have, you know, I stand out from normal at least a little bit. Thank you for the courtesy laugh. That means a lot. But, uh, you know, the idea is you've got, you've got this, you know, this other suitcase that might be full of personality. And, and what my mentor said, he said, you know, a, a, a good performer has one or the other. A great performer should strive to have both. And I've been trying really hard to wrap my head around not just having those things, but what you do with them. And, and, I, and I realize you work constantly to put any good idea into either one of these bags. If you know a, a funny way to smile or stand, or if you learn a stupid human trick, which is what I consider all circus arts to be, you put them in the bag, you take them with you, you hope that something goes well, you go out to a festival or an event, you try it out, and you'll find out instantly that they're all worthless. Every single one of them is worthless because what matters is once you drag out the bags and you put this bag into personality and you get this bag full of toys and you pull it out and you hope something happens, something totally unexpected will happen. Someone is going to throw a curveball at you and change everything. I, I, I've got an example for you. Last weekend, uh, some of the circus freaks were out at the Chalk This Way Festival, which was really awesome. We got to do a stage show. It was great. But during the earlier part of the day, I was riding around on a little penny farthing bicycle, which I thought was awesome because, dude, vintage bicycle, right? S right. So I'm riding around on this thing, and somebody attaches a balloon to my handlebars. Well, I can ignore that. It's an option or I can deal with the reality that is in front of me. Someone has tied a helium balloon to my bicycle. And so the next thing I know, instead of thinking it's going to be a nice easy day where the first hour is spent riding around this bicycle, I'm walking around like this, holding a bicycle over my head like it's being pulled up in the air, hoping to high heaven that everybody else gets the joke that it's floating away. <laughs> the best part is I wasn't. It's such an absurdly stupid idea that it absolutely worked. It absolutely worked. Well, thank you for that. That's not, that's very kind, but the point, the interesting thing is that the entire room got it. They, I took one of the things out of my bag, somebody walked up to me and said, here, let me screw with that in a stupid way. And I said, okay, and we ran down that, uh, that way so far that when the balloon finally released itself and flew away, I had to do one of those wily e. Coyote moments of doing this and looking up and looking out and realizing, uh-oh, and doing a pratfall on the floor, which I will not repeat now because I'm still sore. The lesson comes pretty simply, pretty obviously, that when you go out with your stupid ideas, your good bag full of tricks and your, your gr hopefully great bag full of character, that when you put these together, you're gonna to do what you're gonna do. But when you're open to the idea that performers get to interface with you guys, audiences, people who care about what they're doing, who get the absurdly stupid jokes that they're telling. Really stupid, a balloon, bicycle, push-ups, it's stupid, but it worked. And people go with you on that ride. As a performer, the only thing I can say to take away from that is, you have to go to places where you can feel brave to do stupid things and learn from them and steal them and mine them for DNA to take them out to everything you do. And that's how you go from being good to great. This is one of the stupid, this is the stupid factory. Yeah! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stupid factory, a place we call the open stage.